Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a shopping haul. First of all, I want to start by apologising for the kind of amateurish set up that I've got going on today. Um, if you're new to my channel, we have a puppy called Hugo. He's almost 12 weeks old and he chews everything. And he chewed the cable on my ring light. So I now have no ring light, no stand and it, it's just a bit of a disaster. We're also in the kitchen because my craft room stroke YouTube room is in the process of being refurbed. So it is what it is, we're gonna go with it. Sorry about the lighting and you're currently propped up against a toaster, but we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. Right, so the other day you may have seen in my vlog that I went with Granny Annie to Clyde Bank to get bits and pieces for Abby's birthday. But you know what it's like, I can't just go and buy what I need. I ended up getting loads of bits and it's from different shops so I thought I would just show you all in one haul and I'll do it in shop order. I think I've got my receipts so I will give you prices where I can. Also for any food items I'll give you calories and I'll use my little emoji review system to let you know whether I like anything new that I've bought to try. Right, let's get on with it. So I'm going to start with home bargains as you can see. Now, I know I went in for Abby's birthday but I saw these and thought of Christmas. <laughs> Usually once Abby's birthday is over with, I start picking up bits and pieces and I want to start early this year for getting the girls advent boxes organised. And for anyone who doesn't know the advent boxes, instead of an advent calendar, they get to unwrap a little gift every day. Um, it's just a small thing every day. Um, I saw the idea from Tracy the Mad Scots last and thought I have to do it and it worked great last year. So I saw these and thought, advent box. So I picked them up. I did see lots of bits and pieces for the advent boxes, but I've not got the money just now, so I'm keeping them in my little head. But when I saw these, I had to pick them up in case they were gone. And it's hot chocolate bomb, and it's filled with marshmallows. It's just a plain one. It's a velvet rich hot chocolate bomb. Has it got calories? Per 100 grams, it's 502 calories, and there's 35 grams in it. Plus you would need to add in the milk because basically with these, you heat up milk, drop that in it and the chocolate melts, makes a nice hot chocolate and the marshmallows that are inside it also start to melt. It's delicious and the girls both love them. Perfect for Christmas. And these were 99 pence. That was the reason I picked them up. I probably will get a more Christmassy one nearer the time, but for 99 pence, I wasn't going to leave that sitting. So I did get two of them. I needed treats for the kitten, so I picked up these Felix Goodie, Goodie Bag Seaside Mix um, flavoured with salmon, pollock and trout, 200 grams, 100% tasty and these were £2.39 so it's not a bad price for such a big bag. Look what I found, Maltese or Buttons Orange. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know I'm an orange chocolate addict. I love it, it's my favourite kind of chocolate. So when I saw these new Maltese or Buttons, which I love anyway, and I love the mint ones, but now I've got them in orange. These are 165 calories for a 31.8 gram portion. You would need to weigh it out, but that's how much they are. I will let you know what I think of those. That was 199 but it is a big 189 gram bag. I saw these and had to pick them up. Coconut crispy rolls. Now these will be delicious with ice cream. And it's basically, I think it's just the little wafers that you normally get like an ice cream, just the little round curly wafer type things and the coconut flavour. It says that they are made with real coconut milk. They're dairy free, gluten free and they've got no preservatives. And I thought they looked delicious. Now, per serving, which is a quarter of a bag or 33 grams, it's 163 calories. And these were quite expensive, I think, but I wanted to try them. Oh, £1.19, so not too bad because it's a big bag. 140 grams, so yeah, not too bad. 
these were one of the reasons that I went into home bargains because I saw on Rachel's, I think it was Rachel's channel, Friday, or Friday Finds, Hay Bales, was it? It might have been Rachel's channel, I saw these and had to pick them up. They've got different flavours of popcorn, so this is the Cookie Pop popcorn, the Oreo flavour, and the Brooke just loves anything Oreo and she loves popcorn. So for one and a quarter cups which is 30 grams these are 150 calories which isn't too bad so it's basically popcorn made with real oreo cookie pieces these were geez i didn't realize how expensive they were three pound 49 she better like them <laughs> i don't think we'll be getting these again but i had to try them anyway and i also got for me to try the Twix ones. So it's the same thing. This is Candy Pop Popcorn Twix. So it's popcorn with bits of Twix and it's the same calories. 150 calories for 30 grams or one and a quarter cups. And again, £3.49. So these will, if we do repurchase them, they'll only be for special occasions like special movie nights or something probably. Both flavours were amazing and I realised the reason they were so expensive was because they're actually made in America. Sticking with the edibles, you know what I'm like. <laughs> I haven't tried these. I do like Ringo's and I've not tried the sweet chilli ones. So I saw these and thought, oh, I'm going to give them a go. It says they were a pound, but they were 49 pence at the end date. Best before Christmas Day. <laughs> They'll definitely be gone by Christmas Day. Everything's Christmas just now. I'm loving it. Sorry. I'm, you know what I'm like. I go off on a tangent, but it's really starting to feel quite autumnal and I love this time of year. Oh, getting into the autumn feel and then thinking about Christmas. It was great. Anyway, the Ringos are 25 grams serving, 121 calories. I thought that said 12 calories. I was going to say that's good. Um, so yes, I'm definitely going to try them and let you know what I think of them. I wasn't impressed with these, I'd hardly any flavour. Won't be buying again. The last of the edibles from Home Bargains. I got orange wagon wheels. Remember what I said about loving orange chocolate? Now, I never used to like original wagon wheels. And then they got the jammy ones and I didn't mind them. So I'm hoping that I really like the orange ones because it's orange jam that's in them, I think. And they're individually wrapped. It says they're epic inside. I'll decide. <laughs> And these are per wagon wheel, 162 calories, but they feel like they're not a bad size. They're definitely not as big as they used to be when I was young, but they're not a bad size. And price-wise, 89 pence for the bag of six, so that's good. They were okay. The orange jam saved them from being a thumbs down. Oh, I did get something for Abby's birthday. Now, this is just tongue-in-cheek, okay? Don't take me seriously. But as you may know, Abby's about to start college. She just left school last week and she is starting college on Monday. So I thought it would be funny to get her a CBD face mask. Just so that she's getting into the swing of getting drugs for college. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell her. She knows I'm joking. Please believe me, I'm joking. I am not encouraging her or anybody else to use that. But it's basically cannabis sativa peel off. I'm assuming it's got CBD in it. It's for oily combo and problem skin and it helps reduce blemishes. It's an easy peel mask. So that's what it looks like. I just thought it would be fun. She does love masks and I thought it would be fun. I don't know if it would smell like cannabis or not. Um, not that I know what it smells like, of course. Uh, this was 79 pence for that. So yeah, just a bit of a laugh. And the last thing from Home Bargains, I was needing a new air freshener for in the hall and not just the scent, I was needing a full new unit because I reversed into it in my wheelchair and broke it. So I needed a new one. So I got this one, which is the Bold Scent Lavish Vanilla. So hopefully that will smell nice. And this was £3.99. Not too bad. So that was everything from Home Bargains. I'm going to put this away and come back to you with everything from Primark. So Primark now. First of all, I want to show you the bag that I got. This isn't all from Primark, but the bag is. How gorgeous is that? 
So it's a reusable Disney bag and it's got loads of different drawings of Mickey Mouse on it. And it's got long handles and short handles. I think it was £1.50. I just wanted to show you the bag because I think it's really, really cute. And um, Abby's really into Stitch, the Disney character, just now. So I'm going to wrap her things but put them in this bag and give her it. I was very disappointed I didn't get much in Primark. When we had been in the Brayhead Primark a few weeks ago getting the back to school stuff, Abby pointed out a lot of things that she liked and I thought, oh, I'll remember that. But it was Clyde Bank that we went to and they didn't have any of the things that she'd pointed out and I was like, ah! So I only got a couple of things out of Primark. As I said, Abby is starting college and although we got a lot of back to school stationery because she did live the sixth year for three days before she found out she had a place at college, um, so... She got a lot of stationery, but she didn't get like a, a diary type thing. So I saw this that says, I don't know if you can see it because of the stupid lighting in here. Follow your dreams. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a sort of full leather cover with the gold clasp on it. And when you open it up, it's got a little pouch there for keeping bits and pieces. And it's got tabs. I don't know if you can see what they say on them. The first one is a diary. Rather than being dated, you can write your own date in it. The next one is planner. So you basically, you can circle what month it is and then the specific days. And she can write in if she's got like assignments due or anything like that. And the third one is a to-do list. So she can write things that she needs to do each day. She might not use it because she's not as organised as I would like her to be. And I, I think I'm quite organised when it comes to things like this. I love a to-do list and things. So I'm kind of hoping that she does. But if she doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, and at the very back, there's just a section for notes. And it has got a pen in there as well. A nice gold one that matches the trims on the diary. So I don't know if I said, but that was £5. And I just like the fact that it says follow your dreams on the front because she really didn't know what she wanted to do when she left school. But when she saw this course that she's going to do, it's complimentary in spa therapy. She thought, oh, that sounds perfect. So I thought, well, she's following her dream. So that's that. And the only other thing that I got out of Primark was, wait till you see it. I love it. Look, look at that stitch cushion. How gorgeous is that? It's huge. It is so soft and so cheeky looking. She will love that. They did have one that was in the shape of Stitch's head and I was umming and ah and I didn't know which one to get but I went for this one in the end and I just think it is absolutely adorable and that was £7. So yeah, I think she will appreciate that. And that was everything from Primark. We shall go on to b and next. Sorry if the angle's changed. I just knocked you off your perch. <laughs> right, you know what I'm like when I go into B&M? Uh, it's mostly edibles, apart from one thing. Everything else is edible either for the humans or for the fur babies in the house. So, yes, let's go on with this. Again, I've got my receipt, so I'll give you the prices. I'll start with the one thing that's not edible, and that was... Fabulosa Max. I always say Max Welps. It's Wax Melts, Fiona. And I had to pick these up because the Rainbow Drops is my favourite scent in Fabulosa. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go because I don't put my Wax Melts on very often. But when I remember, I'm like, oh, and I love them. So, yeah, I thought you get 12 in the pack. And it was... $1.99 and I wanted to show you this first because I'm going to go and put it on just now and that way I can tell you at the end of the video whether I liked whether I like the smell or not whether it's giving off a nice strong scent because sometimes you get them and you're like I can't even smell that so and with a nose like mine you should be able to smell things so I'm going to go put one of these on and I'll come back in a minute right so I've put them on just in the utility room behind me so I should be able to smell it shortly I have to say when I opened the packet it smells more like black currant than the rainbow drops. Yeah, it's very black currant -y. And that scent does tend to have a fruity smell, but not specifically black currant. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I forgot to say in the video that they did smell nice, but only in the one room. Everything else is edible for us or the pups, so I'm just going to take them randomly. 
I got these, the Jacob's Baked Crinklies. I love these. I usually get them out of Asda and it's a variety pack I usually get with the cheese and onion, chilli beef and salt and vinegar. But Asda didn't have them this week and this was the only flavour that B&M's had. And to be honest, the cheese and onion is my favourite anyway. So I picked up these and per packet, they're 122 calories and the price was... A pound for the six. I can't remember how much they are in Asda. I think they're about the same, to be honest. More chocolate orange. This time, digestive. Now, I've seen the McVitie's VIBs, the very important biscuits, in the blood orange, I think it is, and it's got like a caramel that's um, orange flavour. But I don't think I've ever had the just chocolate orange flavour, and it says we're back. So I take it it's an old favourite that they're just bringing back. These were a pound and I will let you know what I think of these. <laughs> Calorie wise, 73 calories per biscuit. That's not bad actually. The only thing is I eat a whole packet at a time. <laughs> what was I saying about Christmas? Look. Oh, Maltese are reindeer but it's mint flavour. Oh, yes, please. I'm so looking forward to trying this. That was 50 pence, so that's not too bad at all. Don't know if it'll have the calories on it. Oh, it has. Per reindeer, it's 157 calories, so quite calorific. But I did love the orange ones last year, so I'm hoping they bring them out again. But mint, oh, can't wait to try that. Again, I'll let you know what I think now. I got this for Brooke to try because she loves chunky Kit Kats, pretty much all flavours, but peanut butter's her favourite. But I saw this one and it's a popcorn flavour. It's um, salty caramel popcorn and she loves salty popcorn more than sweet. So I thought she might like this and I thought I'd give it the, get her it to try as a little treat because I'm buying loads of things for Abby's birthday. So it's nice to buy wee treats for Brooke as well. Can I read the calories? They always make it tiny. Do you think there's a reason for that? Per bar, 221 calories for this chunky Kit Kat. Try the popcorn Kit Kat. The chocolate's good. <laughs> Can't just taste the chocolate. You no. know what that tastes like? No, because I eat the chocolate, then the biscuit and the filling. Taking the actual inside filling bit out. Right, right. let's see what you think. Nice? Hmm. Nicer than the peanut butter one? No, <laughs> that's your favourite, isn't it? Would you have it again? Mm. Cool. And that was 49 pence. Now, I had seen these, I think it was uh, Stevenson Gresh family, they were in B&M and they were looking at the pet things and I saw these and thought, oh, I need to look for them the next time I'm in. So I picked them up and it's the Ready to Freeze Pop Ice Creams. Now, I did get recently, I did a video where we, Brooke and I made doggy ice cream that we put in the freezer and they absolutely loved it. But you had to actually mix that with water and put it in the mould and freeze it. Whereas this is already... Um, in a lolly shape and you just put it in the freezer to cool it down and then you give them it. So this is, a, it was a peanut butter flavour that I got, peanut and chocolate flavour, because the other flavour was strawberry and banana and I don't know about you, but only one out of four of our dogs likes banana. So I thought, mm, I'm not going to get that flavour. So yes, it just says 0% added sugar, 0% artificial colours or flavours, added calcium and prebiotics. It's an edible lolly stick. It's carob that the chocolate flavour is, so it's safe for them. And there's peanuts as well. It says, pop a pup ice in your freezer and treat your dog to a popsicle sensation. Chew on our refreshing pup ices for maximum taste and fun helping your pup stay cool all year round. So I'm going to pop these in the freezer just now. And before I edit and put this up, I will give them it and I'll film them and pop it in for you. It's £2 for a pack of two. And because I've got four dogs, I picked up two of them out of the freezer. They don't look overly appetising if it was for humans, but it's for dogs, so let's see what they think. Right, Clyde, what do you think? Good boy. Right, Molly? Good girl. Will I sit? Sit. 
Sit. Take it nice. <laughs> okay, so Hugo's eating the stick before the ice lolly part. That good, Molly? Molly is eating the lolly part first. <laughs> Will has finished it already. Clyde's taking his to his bed, so he must be enjoying it. God, it's the quietest Hugo's been. Even Loman's coming to investigate it. You can get your own treat. Yeah, you can't leave Loman out. Was that good, Molly? Molly's looking for more. Hugo's still battling with it. Maybe puppy teeth not getting through it. That good? That's weird that Hugo ate the stick before the lolly. You're going to need a bath now, mister. It's all over your fur. Was that good, Clyde? Clyde's finished his now. Was it good? Licking his lips. Was that nice? Oh. It's not for leaving any of it anyway. Well, it's taken you about 20 minutes, but you finally finished it. Was that good? Was that nice? Like, where's the crumbs? Where's the crumbs? <laughs> Was that good? Look at the tail. I think that got the Hugo seal of approval. <laughs> right, in fact, I'll stay with the pups just now. Hugo, uh, who is the little puppy, like I said, it'll be three months old on Saturday, is obviously doing a lot of training just now because he's so young and he's a huge dog he's a caucasian shepherd so we are wanting to train him and socialize him as early as possible so i'm going through lots and lots of puppy treats so i was needing more when i was in dnm i had a look and i saw these so it's training treats mini hearts no added sugar only three calories per treat and it's chicken, rabbit and lamb flavour. They're suitable for puppies over three months old, which he will be on Saturday, so that is good. And these were only a pound for the pack, which is really good because it's a big pack. And lastly for the puppies, I got these ones, the Budsters, which are grain free. And they are mini bites, tasty treats, gentle on digestion and natural ingredients. And I like the fact that they're grain free as well. Does it say what flavour they are? Natural ingredients, grain-free recipe, single animal protein, which is turkey, and hypoallergenic. And again, it's suitable from three months. These were a little bit dearer, I think. That was £2 for the 150 grams compared to a pound for 200 grams. So they're more expensive, but I think they are healthier. Back to the humans again. I saw these, I've never seen these before. Um, the Dairy Milk Crispello and it's chocolate with little Rice crispy type things in it so it, I think it's going to be a bit like a Rice crispy cake but with extra chocolate Granny Annie has already tried it and said it was delicious she really really liked it so I'm looking forward to trying it oh my goodness the calories are tiny does it say here 177 calories I think it says I don't know have a look is it 177? Um, per bar, which isn't too bad. And it was 39 pence, I think. Yeah, 39 pence, which isn't bad at all. I will let you know what I think of that. Back to the chocolate orange. Look. Dairy Milk Winter Orange Edition. As I said, it's starting to feel like autumn and then it's Christmas and I'm all about the wintery things now. Summer's gone as far as I'm concerned. As soon as Abby's birthday's out of the way, summer's gone. Autumn and winter are coming. So I love the Dairy Milk Winter Editions. I love the one that's the, the Christmas trees. It's the milk chocolate with the white chocolate trees on it. I love them. So I thought I need to try this. It is... It looks like crunchy bits of orange. It just says milk chocolate with orange flavoured pieces. And for six chunks, it's 121 calories. No way. Yeah. 
121 calories for six chunks. That's pretty good. But again, I'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> and that was a pound. Perfect. And the last two things were for Abby for her birthday. You can't beat a box of chocolates on your birthday. I wish I had waited till I went to Asda because they had heroes and they were the same price. But when I was in B&M, I wanted to pick them up. I'm sure she likes Quality Street anyway. But there's just something indulgent about a box of chocolates instead of a packet of sweets, isn't there? So I got the box of Quality Street and that was £4. Like I say, they were selling them the same price in Asda and they had the heroes as well. Usually Asda nearer Christmas will do like a, a multi-buy thing on them. I don't think they're doing that yet. Oh yes they are. <laughs> and the final thing that I got for Abby was a massive jar of Nutella. We always have Nutella in the cupboard but now and again the girls like to have their own jar so that if they feel indulgent they can go and take a teaspoon and just take a teaspoon of Nutella. So yeah I thought I would get her that. She'll have a laugh when she opens this one. She'll know for what it is as soon as she picks it up, sees the shape and feels the weight, she'll know it's Nutella. So that was a massive 630 gram jar for $3.99. And that was everything from B&M. Right, now, Superdrug, it's a place I don't normally go, but Abby had been looking for something specific from Superdrug, but she can't buy it herself because she's under 18. And that was the little eyebrow razor things that you get. So it's eyebrow trimmers they're called and they're like little mini razors and you just basically go over your eyebrows with them to shape your eyebrows. She's had them before and loves them but you have to be over 18 to buy them. So she's been wanting them and I thought, aha, I'll go in and just get her them for her birthday. So you get the pack of three for $2.99, which isn't bad. Perfect for at home or on the go, removal of fine hairs around the brow and face. Oh! Actually, I'll need to tell her it says not to be sold to anyone under 16. So she can buy them herself. I wonder if she was at it and just wanted me to get them for her. <laughs> the other thing that I got was a nice body spray for her. This is the Superdrug Layering Lab. So they've got lots of different scents and you can wear them on their own or you can layer them together to make a unique scent. I just got the one for her. And the scent that I got was Sweetie, which is Pear, Rose and Vanilla. That's what it looks like and it smells amazing. I did smell quite a few of them in the shop and it really is nice. And that was $3.99, which is quite a lot for the, the size of spray, but I think she'll really like it because the scent is definitely just her. And I like the size of it. It's perfect for popping in her bag when she's going to college. And the last thing from Superdrug I got was this photo frame. Now I had it in my mind that I wanted to get a nice frame so that I can print off a picture of Abby and Lewis and give her that for her birthday. Lewis is the man in her life at the moment and I thought that is just absolutely gorgeous. It's You can't really see it well on the camera. It's wood and it's like a sort of distressed grey paint and it's heart shaped which is just perfect so i've got photograph paper i'm going to print off a photo of them and that was £4.99 again it's a lot of money for what it is but i just thought it was really really cute so i will pop a photo in nearly done. I'm sorry this is turning into a long one you know what i'm like i do tend to waffle on a bit um right poundland now first time i've been in poundland for months and months and months and months and I was disappointed to be honest, they didn't have that much in yet, um, like sort of Christmassy buys. I know I'm not supposed to be getting Christmas things, but you know what I'm like. One thing that I did see that will have been left from last year's stock but is still in date is look, it's the Naughty Elves candy floss. So, the elf on the shelf, if you've not watched any of my vlogmases, I do elf on the shelf with Brooke. So when I saw this candy floss strawberry flavour, I thought perfect because I've got lots of ideas going through my head what I can do with the elves with that. And it's still in date until Jan the end of January next year. So I don't think she'll so much be eating it. I think I'll more be using it as props. But yes, I think that's really good. And it was a pound, which isn't bad. I don't know if it was always a pound um, or if they've dropped it in price because... It's last year's stock. I'm pretty sure it will be. Calorie-wise, for 100 grams, it's 400 calories, which is huge. But let's face it, candy floss is pure sugar, isn't it? So, yes. Oh, I'm excited already for Vlogmas. Can't wait. 
I got some command hooks because, like I said, my craft room is having a makeover, so I'm needing command hooks to put bits and pieces up. I got this pack of six. Yeah, it was £3, which is quite expensive. I'm needing them like now so that I can get things put away, so I just picked them up. But I love command hooks because they're just so easy to use and they come off nicely as well. On the same vein, I picked up sort of Poundland. I don't know if it's Poundland's own. But it's a much cheaper version and it's three pack of sticker hook, but it's not clear like the other one. So I will use these um, where they can't really be seen. And it says that they're removable and they're damage free. Not sure whether they will be or not, but we will give it a go and see. That was a pound for three compared to three pounds for six. You know what I'm like with my crafts. I saw these. Look, it's a tiny little magnet with a canvas on it. It's 50 pence. So I thought I'm going to try and sublimate a nice photo on there and make it a nice fridge magnet. We'll see how it goes. If it's if it works out well, then I'll get loads of them and maybe sell them if anybody wants them. And on the same vein, they've got just a dinky little canvas there that was also 50 pence. They had them in white, but I thought it'd be quite nice to get it in black for a wee change and I might be put vinyl on here. They did have the little easels to go with them, but I didn't bother with that because what I've got in mind, I won't need the easel but I thought I'm going to get that. And if I like them, because they're only 50 pence, I'll get more. Also in the crafty section, I picked up their glitter gel pens. I love Poundland glitter gel pens. This is a different pack than they used to be in, but it's still 10 glitter gel pens for a pound. They're amazing. They last for ages. And I actually got them for Brooke for uh, high school. She loves doodling in her diary and things. So I thought these would be ideal for her. Like I say, I do love them. So they, these are the ones that I was telling you about as well and they did have quite a few colouring books and that was the Clyde Bank one so I'm not sure if they've got them where you are but if you want to have a look this is what the glitter pens look like that I was talking to you about. Sticking with my craft room the last thing I got was this desk organiser. Now it's just cardboard and you put it together yourself. It's a five piece foldable and I thought that would be ideal just for keeping my ruler and my pens and um, spare bits of paper and things like that in. It was £1.50 which isn't bad for a desk organiser. We'll see if I can put it together. That'll be a trick won't it? These last things were actually Granny Annie's and she's forgot to pick them up so I'll show you them. We just got, she got two packs of batteries, she got triple A's and double A's. They've both got a living in them because it was buy 10 get one free. So there's a living instead of 10 in them and they were a pound each. And finally she picked up, oh this is what I was talking about when I was talking about the orange digestives from B&M. The VIB's a very important biscuit. This is just the caramel flavour. Classic Caramel Bliss. The ones I was talking about are blood orange flavour, but it's the same thing. So she picked up these and they are 80 calories per biscuit, I think it says. Yep, 80 calories per biscuit and that was a pound for the packet as well, I believe. Yes, it was. And interestingly, just when I'm looking at the... Oh, I did get something else as well. Oh. Uh, while I'm looking at the receipt just now, I will remember to tell you that they are also doing Bliss Bars in Poundland now. The Bliss Bars that I've only normally seen in Home Bargains, they do them in Poundland. They're selling them for £1.50 a box. I'm not sure how much they are in Home Bargains, but I just remembered when I saw the, the item on the receipt. The other thing that I got was... Wrapping paper for Abby, and it's a lovely sort of lilac-y, metallic, I don't know if you're getting to see the colour very well, but it's a three metre roll, and it was a pound for the three metre roll, which is pretty good. And finally we went into Wilco, and the only thing that I picked up was these foam, these brushes, paint brushes because I've been looking everywhere for the foam paint brushes. They go on really smoothly to like wooden things if you're painting frames or anything like that. So when I saw that I was like, oh I need to have it. It's got normal paint brushes in it as well, but I really got it for that and it was £1.75 for that. And then when I went into, I think it was Asda, 
I spotted that they had a pack of just the paint brushes. I was like, oh, typical. Um, and they were 150, I think, but these will be perfect anyway. So £1.75. Oh, you get quite a big one there as well. They're also really good for spreading glue if you're doing like deco patch and things like that. That is everything for this haul. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's been a bit long and rambly, but I honestly really hope you enjoy it. I wanted to just do it all as one rather than a few separate small hauls. If you have enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell and talk to me in the comments below. I love hearing from you. I always reply to comments where I can because comments are still disappearing. And um, I'm sorry, Diane Kelly, one of your comments has disappeared recently as well. It's so annoying. Um, I apologize in advance if I don't get a chance to reply to your comment, but I promise any any comments that I can reply to, I will. Right, thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to go now, get all this stuff put away, and I'll see you in our next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.